Every year, on the Sunday closest to Remembrance Day on 11 November, memorial services are held at the Kranji War Cemetery and Memorial to honour the men and women who gave their lives defending Singapore during the Japanese invasion in World War II. Located on a low hill in the northwestern part of Singapore, the cemetery was designed by British architect Colin Sinclair Oakes and unveiled on 2nd March 1957. It contains over 4,400 burials that are marked by headstones, as well as over 25,000 names commemorated on five memorials. The location of the cemetery is significant because Kranji and its vicinity witnessed the earliest battles during the Japanese invasion of Singapore. Near the entrance, the Stone of Remembrance, found only in large Commonwealth War Cemeteries, is inscribed with the words, Their name liveth forevermore. Here, visitors can also find a metal cabinet set in the stone wall of a shelter. It contains a cemetery and memorial register, a visitor's book and a plan of the cemetery. Walking through the rows of white headstones, it's not immediately obvious that the cemetery is laid out like a military parade, with the war date forming a battalion that continues to march on. The headstones are the same shape, size and material to express the uniformity of sacrifice regardless of rank, race or creed. Lieutenant Colonel Ivan Lyon, who led daring missions in Operation Jaywick and Operation Rimau to sabotage Japanese ships in Keppel Harbour, is buried in Plot 27. Other commandos from the Z Special Unit who lost their lives in Operation Rimau have also been laid to rest here. Lion was killed by a grenade following an attempted commando attack in October 1944. He and two other commandos managed to fight off nearly a hundred Japanese soldiers for over four hours until their positions were discovered. As you walk up the gentle slope, you'll see the Cross of Sacrifice, a feature found in Commonwealth War Cemeteries containing 40 or more graves. It was designed in 1918 by Sir Reginald Blomfield for the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. On the hill's highest point, the Singapore Memorial, shaped like a plane, shelters 12 stone-clad columns bearing the names of over 24,000 missing personnel with no known graves. The central pylon of the memorial, which rises to a height of about 22 metres, resembles the tail unit of an aeroplane and is topped by a six-pointed star above a glass dome. Among those commemorated at the Singapore Memorial are the brave soldiers of the Malay Regiment. During the Battle of Singapore in February 1942, the Malay Regiment was tasked to defend Pasir Panjang Ridge. Despite being badly outnumbered, Lieutenant Adnan Saidi led a group of soldiers against the Japanese 18th Division, holding their ground and fighting to the very end during the last stand at Bukit Chandu. According to eyewitnesses, Adnan was shot and bayoneted to death. His body was hung upside down from a tree and the Japanese forbade its removal for burial. Adnan Saidi and the soldiers from the Malay Regiment who perished are commemorated on columns 385 to 390. Surrounding the Singapore Memorial are four commemorative panels. To the east is the Singapore Civil Hospital Grave Memorial, which commemorates the 107 servicemen who died at the Singapore General Hospital and were buried there in a mass grave alongside 300 civilians. To the west is the Singapore Unmaintainable Graves Memorial, dedicated to the 255 casualties of the Malayan campaign whose graves in civil cemeteries could not be moved to Kranji due to religious reasons. To the south, behind the Singapore Memorial, is the Singapore Cremation Memorial, which commemorates the 789 soldiers of the Indian Army who died and were cremated according to their religious beliefs. The Chinese memorial in Plot 44 marks a collective grave for 69 Chinese servicemen who were killed by the Japanese when Singapore fell in February 1942. 
Aside from Remembrance Day, the Fallen are also honoured on Anzac Day, observed on 25th April each year. Through the years, foreign dignitaries like Queen Elizabeth, Prince Philip and Australian Governor-General Bill Hayden have visited the memorial during their state visits to Singapore. For Singaporeans, the cemetery has evolved into an important site for national education. It commemorates all those who made the ultimate sacrifice in the defence of Singapore. Given human nature, it is unlikely that there will ever be a time when the world will be free of armed conflict. This cemetery is a quiet but powerful reminder that in every war, many will pay a high price.